Welcome to Sadisi's Demons. Hope you're excited. As far as opening hand goes, yeah, we're going to keep on this one. Like this, we have three lands in our hand and then a few demons. I have a um, actually pretty good spread. We have a removal demon, the minus two demon, demon of dark schemes, and then another card draw demon with uh, blood gift demon. So let's go ahead and get these swamped down for the turn. And then anything else, we will go ahead and pass the turn to our opponent. We're playing Sadisi. Come back here, Sadisi. There we are. Um, Death touch exploit. And basically, if you don't know what an exploit is, whenever this creature enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature. Uh, whenever CDC exploits a creature, you may search your library for a card, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. So if you did not see the deck tech, what are we doing with this particular deck? Uh, we're looking to get out CDC and search up Liliana's contract. Uh, get that down and hopefully have enough demons on the battlefield the following turn to uh, win the game. So it's always kind of fun to build these alternative wind condition commander decks. Um, anything else? No. We'll go and pass it over. Playing gets Brea, Ethereum Sculptor. Uh, whenever Brea enters the battlefield, create two blue one Thopter artifact creature tokens with flying. Then for two mana, artif or two mana uh, sacrifice two artifacts. Choose one. Brea deals 30 damage target player or planeswalker. Uh, target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. And then you gain five life. Now we'll give you a quick little reminder. This is a $5 budget deck and we're playing against Brea. So we're going to play this one out. We're going to keep our fingers crossed that we can get somewhere with this one. But uh may not be so good. I do want to click down to Mint Eternal. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. That'll be another demon we get down. That's going to be one, two, three. And then anything else, we're going to kick the turn back over to our opponent. Uh, but yeah, so we get down literally on this contract. We have four different named demons on the battlefield, and that allows us to win the game uh, during our upkeep. So, really excited to get this going. Um, we'll see how we do against Brea, but we got some pretty good stuff in the hand. Um, another fun thing about this deck is... Um, it is budget, but it's very easily upgradable. You know, if you're looking to get into Commander for Magic Online, and this is pretty much what the series is aimed at, you know, this $5 series, is I want people to be able to play on Magic Online. I know Arena is out there, but I mean, there's still some pretty really good decks that you can build in, uh, for Magic Online that are actually just to have some playability to it. So now against stuff like Brea, it is what it is. It's a $5 budget deck. Um, you know, it's not going to perform to the capacity where it's going to win every single time. Uh, but you still have a fighting chance. You know, as long as we keep making our land drops, we can get these demons on the battlefield, and we can kind of go from there. Uh, one of the downsides to building budget decks is that you have to kind of cut a lot of that fast mana that really allows you to kind of do some busted stuff sometimes. And this is definitely one of those decks that would be really nice uh, to get that demon, uh, get some of the uh, extra demons on the battlefield a little bit quicker, but uh, we'll make it work. Uh, let's go to get down Swamp. Do we want to go for Scourge of Numai? That'll be an additional demon. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, we are looking at duplicate coming from our opponent, though. You know, let's go and push him for four with uh, a mid eternal. It's going to put it back at a 5-5, five, five, putting our opponent down to a 26. And let's go and get down um, the Scourge. I think that sounds good. That's going to be one, two, three, four. That'll be four demons, and that'll put us online for a CDC getting that down. And then anything else, we'll kick it back over to our opponent. Uh, but yeah, so we do have one of the big downsides is you're getting a lot of these demons on the battlefield. As you can tell, we have a six drop demon, five drop demon, a four drop demon. Uh, they're not that easy to get on the battlefield. So we do have a couple different ways to at least kind of protect our board state. Uh, we do have Living Death. Let's say that our opponent does cast some sort of board wipe. Uh, with Living Death, that allows us to kind of bring back our creatures onto the battlefield, really kind of help us go for that. Uh, search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay, let's see what our opponent searches up on that. But we have a couple different ways to kind of bring a few of these creatures back. One of the cards that I did add that is definitely a really good budget option for Magic Online that I'm really excited about is, I think it's Thrilling Encore. I'm trying to look at my deck. Yeah, Thrilling Encore. And basically, you know, let's say our opponent casts Wrath of God or something like that. Uh, we go for Thrilling Encore. It's going to be allow us to put all creatures on our side of the battlefield that were put into the graveyard. So even if they do blow up some of their creatures, it'll allow them to go back to our side. And at the same time, kind of protecting our board state for that Liliana's contract. So but it is five mana, a little expensive, but it's commander. <laughs> it's always fun to kind of run these random cards in commander, especially stuff that counters some sort of board wipe. And that always really kind of helps you uh, definitely kind of push some sort of win condition. And our opponent did end up going for fabricate, uh, searching up great furnace. So if you are playing an artifact based deck, especially like Brea, um, you can definitely run those artifact lands for scenarios like this to where our opponent was a little bit tight on mana. So, all right, so let's go get this uh, scourge uh, trigger going. We're gonna lose two life, put us down to uh, 28. Okay, what are we gonna do? Let's go get down swamp. Yeah, I think I'm okay with going for Sidisi. Because that kind of puts us next turn on Ruinous Path or something like that. Yeah, let's go and go for Sidisi. 
And then we can just go ahead and exploit Sidisi and send her back to the command zone. We're not tied to having her on the battlefield. You know, it's nice to have a 4-6. If our opponent had a lot of good stuff on the battlefield, be tempted to go for that. Uh, but we'll go and um, exploit Sidisi and send her back to the command zone. And let's go and grab uh, Liliana's contract. There we go. It's going to be five mana than anything else. I guess technically we could go and swing it with Eternal. You know, I can't really see our opponent chuck blocking on this one with, um, if we could actually swing in with both too, because they're sitting at a 3 3 and a 4 4. Yeah, let's go and go for that. Swing in for a 3 3 and a 4 4. And it also allows to kind of get some nice reset on the uh, minus one counters on Eternal. So, and then anything else, we'll go and kick it back over to our opponent. Now, we don't really have a lot of access to a lot of fast mana, at least on our board's current board state. But outside of the Liliana's contract, um, we're mainly looking to swing in with some demons. Um, some of the immediate upgrades to this deck, if you already have the card or you want to go for it, uh, something like Heartless Summoning or um, Cover of Darkness, that's going to allow your demons to swing in. You get down that Cover of Darkness naming a demon, it's going to allow a lot of your demons to swing across. Uh, stuff like Urza's Incubator 2 would be really good for the deck. Um, unfortunately, when you're trying to, I'm trying to stick to this $5 budget. And so when you have a card that's you know $1.50, $2, you kind of choose up a lot of the deck's budget. And I kind of want to build something that at least has some sort of you know standard foundation uh, for playing a commander game with it. So that's definitely a few cards that you could definitely add to the deck that would really make it a lot better. Um, just getting that reduced cost on some of these demons is really going to allow you to kind of bounce back simply just because it is so mana intensive. All right, so Poto's going to get down. Azorius Signet. It's going to cross off that Great Furnace. Um, if they wanted to go for Brea, they could. Yeah, because I think that would be enough. That does put us online for Ruinous Path, if we want to go for that. If we can stick Liliana's Contract next turn to get some card draw going, I would very much enjoy that. But uh, we'll see what our opponent's going to get down. Wrath of God. Destroy all creatures they cannot be regenerated. Okay, that's not too bad. That kind of makes the, our decision this turn a little bit easier to go for that um, Liliana's Contract. Uh, let's go and get her down. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we'll see if our opponent has any sort of tutor or uh, enchantment removal <laughs> for Liliana's contract. Okay, end of the battlefield, draw four cards, lose four live. Okay, uh, let's go to get down Swamp and then anything else. We are sitting at eight cards in the hand. We'll just go and pass the turn to our opponent. I think that'll be pretty good. And we'll just go and dump Reassembling Skeleton since we can bring it back with an activated ability. Now we are running a couple different, I know Reassembling Skeleton is one of the creatures in here. I'm trying to remember if there's any other creatures in here like that that we put in here. Uh, but we are running a few demons in here that have some sort of upkeep trigger. Um, I think, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the demon, but one of the demons has you sacrifice a creature during your upkeep to keep it on the battlefield. And so we are running at least one or two copies of some sort of Reassembling Skeleton. Uh, that way we can bring it back out of the graveyard, and that can be the creature that we keep sacrificing to kind of satisfy that upkeep trigger. But what you can do, is, since it's uh, Liliana's Contract, is at the beginning of your upkeep, you can kind of stack those triggers to where you put Liliana's Contract trigger on the stack first, or at least on the stack last, and have that go off. Um, let's say you do have some sort of board state that's not really good for keeping demons on there you might have to sacrifice them uh, you can sequence it to where Liliana's contract goes uh, at least goes off the stack first and allows you to uh, keep some of your demons on the battlefield uh, let's go and tap down for swamp now we are one more land away from uh, army of the dam so that allows us to get some uh, zombies going too do we want to go for blood gift demon at this point or if we really want to open this up as far as mana goes we can go for rune scar demon and then get some uh we can search up coffers or, uh, yeah, I think that would be pretty good because that really kind of opens us up as far as whatever we want to go for. We got the land, so let's go and do that. Let's go and go for Runescar Demon. I think I like that a little bit better. Okay, got okay, that Runescar Demon trigger. Let's go and get this uh, duplicate down just a little bit so we can see what's going on. And then let's go and grab coffers. There we go. For each swamp that you control, get that down. And then that is be the land drop for next turn. And then anything else, we're going to pass the turn to our opponent. So uh, we get down coffers. That allows us to tap down for two swamps. That allows us to also get seven total mana. And that'll be an additional swamp, which we're okay with too. So we're going to get that down. And then we'll get an additional mana count. So coffers will tap down. That'll be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're looking in the neighborhood of around 13, 14 mana for next turn. Kind of makes it a little bit easier to kind of get some of these demons out there. We're looking at getting down to a turn. Um, oh, bummer. <laughs> 
opponent exiled Liliana's contract. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, this is a uh, this is kind of a one trick pony deck to be perfectly honest. But our opponent has two cards in the hand, so let's put a clock on our opponent. Let's see if they can't get past his Army of the Damned. That's gonna be one two. Um, let's go for Army of the Damned. Get that down. Get some good zombies going, and then. Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's go and get down Army of the Damned. We're going to go for Blood Give Demon, too. Look at those zombies. Oh, yeah. It's going to work out perfectly. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and we do also have Joseph S in here in the deck, too. Because, um, like I mentioned earlier, the, the backup plan for this deck is something like Army of the Damned or Joseph S. Get a bunch of zombies going and then see if you can't kind of win from there. So we're going to pass the turn to our opponent. Um, they've got two cards in the hand, and they do have an active Inventor's Fair. So we'll see if there's something that they want to search up that'll kind of help them out from underneath this one. Um, they still have Duplicate in the hand. If they want to go for that, they can exile Blood Gift Demon. Uh, but the main thing is they need to have some sort of answer for all these zombies. We are looking at exactly... Uh, you know, we do have, I think, 13 zombies going, too. So we'll see what they're going to search up off this Inventor's Fair. Okay, opponent did search up Trading Post. So that's going to allow them to tap down for four to get that down. Um, but I don't know if that's going to give them enough to go for. All right, opponent's going to scoop it up. Okay. <laughs> We do get it. We get down Army of the Dam. That's going to get those 13 2 2 zombies on the battlefield. That's going to be more than enough to take care of Brea. And I will definitely take it on that one. As you can tell, we, uh, we put some pretty good pressure on our opponent. Uh, unfortunately, Liliana's contract did get exiled. Uh, but simply getting down Army of the Damned, uh, getting those zombies going, is going to be more than enough to take care of our opponent. So it always feels good to take a win against Brea. It's always an extra check mark in the win book for that and um you know even if our opponent did have a board wipe we still have army of the dam coming back out of the graveyard we go for that coffers activation and get another round of zombies on the battlefield really makes it for hard for our opponents to kind of get anything done and actually i was going to dig a little bit deeper to see what we were going to draw blood gift demon but uh, anyway i will take it that is a win against brea and if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe thanks bye Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome NFTG content just like this. And make sure to tap the bell icon to be notified whenever a video is made live. If you want to keep watching content, here are two more videos for you. This video and many others are sponsored by MTGO Traders and Cape Fear Games. Buy and sell digital singles to build your online collection today with MTGO Traders, and get your paper singles, accessories, and much more from Cape Fear Games. Whatever your magic needs, both places have you covered.